Look up stargazers and behold! In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope allowed us to view the first high-definition images of space. The Hubble's replacement was able to take stunning pictures of galaxies, constellations, nebulae, black holes, and much more. While the clarity of the images the James Webb Space Telescope has captured so far has astounded us, nothing can match looking directly at the stars and other celestial phenomena with our unaided eyes. This year, there are countless opportunities to take in the breathtaking scenery. An annular solar eclipse, one of the most captivating natural phenomena on Earth, will be visible to millions of people on October the 14th at all latitudes in the Western Hemisphere. Because the Moon is smaller than the Sun, just the Sun's outer edge will be visible during that particular sort of solar eclipse. The route will travel from Oregon through Texas, then on to Central and South America, until coming to a conclusion shortly after dusk in the Atlantic Ocean. Sky observers mark the date. Astronomical events this year are going to be a fantastic treat, with a number of amazing sightings expected to fill the sky. This year, there will be opportunities to observe the super blue moon, the ring of fire eclipse, and wish upon a shooting stars. Here's what to look out for. Venus and Jupiter, March 1st. Western sky watchers get the opportunity to witness Venus and Jupiter put on a spectacular show after a few calm celestial months. Though it's a joke, Venus and Jupiter will look to be almost touching, making them simple to find. In reality, there will be millions of miles between the planets. It's a trick of the eyes. Despite the fact that they are not particularly close to one another, it is a lovely opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. On the right side of Jupiter, Venus will be in its brightest phase, making it difficult to miss. To see the two planets in one glance, spectators only need to take out their binoculars or telescope. After dusk, the viewing choices are at their best. Hybrid Solar Eclipse, April 20th. On November the 3rd, 2013, people on Earth last witnessed a hybrid solar eclipse. As the Moon's shadow sweeps across the Earth's surface, this unusual eclipse appears to shift. The eclipse briefly transitions from an annular to a total before returning to annular. It will be a beautiful sight to behold this year. Venus at Greatest Eastern Elongation, June 4th. The solar system's hottest planet is also its brightest when seen from Earth, garnering it the nickname Morning Star or Evening Star. Venus will be clearly visible for the first time in 2023 when it is at its greatest eastern elongation. When the sun has just set in the west, keep an eye out for it. Summer Solstice and Conjunction, June 21st. Venus and Mars will appear to be clustered together during the entire month of June because they will be on the same astrological line and will hang in the sky as Venus and Jupiter did in March. Venus, Mars and the Moon will align to form a triangle in the night sky on the first day of summer. The three will be so bright that viewers from all across the world should be able to see them without any additional equipment. Delta Aquarids Meteor Shower, July 28th and 29th. Sky watchers at high northern latitudes typically ignore the Delta Aquarids because it is from the southern hemisphere that they are best observed. In contrast, if the sky is black and there is no moon, you can view 15 to 20 meteors in the southernmost region of the United States. Perseid Meteor Shower. August 12th and 13th. The Perseid meteor shower is the most well-known of the year. During its height in July, if you're lucky, you could be able to view up to 100 spectacular meteors and fireballs each hour. According to Greek mythology, these showers are Zeus himself posing as golden stars 
to entice Dana, the mother of Perseus, a lovely mortal. This year's Perseids will be a warm treat for observers in the Northern Hemisphere when it reaches its height on August the 12th. There might be up to 100 meteors shooting through the sky per hour. The brilliant long-tailed balls will be active this year from July 14th to September the 1st. Saturn at Opposition, August 27th The second largest planet in our solar system and the seven-ringed gas giant can be observed at its opposition near the end of August. When a planet's orbit places it in front of another planet and behind the Sun, this is known as a planetary opposition. When Saturn is in the sky opposite the Sun in this instance, the opposition will occur. Planetary oppositions between Earth and planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune occur about once every year. Saturn will be at its closest point to Earth when it is at opposition, making it appear brighter and larger in the sky and making it perfect for viewing. Although technically opposition only happens once, the planet will still appear to be much brighter than usual if you observe it for weeks before and after. The planet Saturn will be visible with the unaided eye, but a telescope may be required to get a good look at its renowned hanging rings. Super Blue Moon, August 31st Sky watchers might be disappointed to hear that a blue moon doesn't cause the moon to temporarily turn blue like a blood moon, which does. Simply put, it indicates that there will be two full moons in August as opposed to the usual one full moon every calendar month. The blue moon occurs on August 31st, the second full moon of the month. However, it won't be a typical blue moon. The moon will appear to be bigger and brighter than usual, making this a blue moon a super blue moon. The occurrence is not a blue moon phenomenon because it occurs frequently. A super blue moon last took place on January the 31st, 2018. Blue moons happen every two and a half years in any given month, but never in February. Neptune at Opposition, September 19th When Neptune is in opposition, the Sun and Earth will be in line with it. This implies that it will rise at the time of sunset and set around sunrise. Even though it will be at its closest point to Earth, it won't be possible to tell the stars apart without a telescope. Draconid Meteor Shower, October 7th The Draconid Meteor Shower is caused by the tiny comet 21P glacobini Zinner, which takes 6.6 .6 years to orbit the Sun. The phenomenon is brought on by the comet's nucleus, which hurls ice and rock into space each time it orbits the inner solar system. Unfortunately, the shower is too faint to be detected most years, but if you're lucky, you might catch 10 draconid meteors per hour under optimum circumstances, like a dark sky without a moon. Ring of Fire Solar Eclipse October 14th When the Earth, Moon and Sun are all in alignment, annular solar eclipses, also referred to as Ring of Fire eclipses, happen. However, the Moon is too far away from the Earth to completely block the Sun. A bright reddish and orange halo is cast on the edges of the Moon as it moves towards the Sun. A partial solar eclipse will be seen almost everywhere in North America, but the blazing spectacle will only be visible in specific regions of the continent. The Moon will appear to be consumed in flames and Anyone in Oregon to Texas, the Caribbean, Central America and out across Brazil will be in the finest positions to observe it. The path of the total solar eclipse in April 2024 can be predicted from the path of this annular solar eclipse. Since it's a solar eclipse, spectators must wear protective eyewear to shield their eyes from the dazzling light. Orionids Meteor Shower October 21st and 22nd Find a place free of light pollution and be ready to witness one of the finest meteor showers of the year. The constellations of Orion, Taurus and Gemini, as well as other bright stars, are all illuminated by the swift, brilliant Orionid meteors, which put on quite a spectacle. 
Venus at Greatest Western Elongation, October 23rd. Since Venus orbits the Sun closer than Earth does, most of the time it's obscured by the Sun's glare. Despite this, when it reaches its maximum elongation, it overtakes the Sun and Moon as the third brightest object in the sky. On October 23rd, in the early evening twilight, it will be seen when it is to the east. Jupiter at Opposition, November the 3rd Only planets outside of Earth's orbit are capable of being in opposition. One of them is the enormous planet with the name of the Supreme Roman Deity. Jupiter will shine above the horizon for most of the night when Earth is directly between the Sun and it. Jupiter is larger than all the other planets put together. Despite hundreds of years of observation, the gas giant is still a mystery to scientists. Taurid's Meteor Shower, November 4th and 5th The Taurids are renowned for the persistent meteors they produce in connection with the comet Enka. These sluggish meteors have a brightness equal to or greater than Venus. Compared to the train left behind by typical meteor streaks, the blast of color and light in a fireball shower are greater and continue longer. Uranus at Opposition, November 13th When the bright blue planet aligns with the Sun and the Earth in mid-November, it will radiate sunlight. At midnight, Uranus shines best in the constellation Aries when it is in opposition. However, finding it can be a challenge. If you use binoculars or a small telescope, your chances are improved. Leonid Meteor Shower, November 17th and 18th Every November, as Earth travels through a dusty region of space created by the comet's Temple Tuttle track, the Leonid Meteor Shower takes place. Pick a location away from city lights, dress for the chilly mid-autumn weather, lie down, point your feet east, look up, and find the constellation Leo. And then wait patiently to see the Leonid Meteor Shower. You can start seeing the Leonid Meteor Shower as soon as your eyes get used to the darkness. Geminid Meteor Shower, December 13th and 14th Before the holiday season, sky watchers will get the opportunity to make wishes on a number of shooting stars as the year comes to a close. Every year around December, the Geminid Meteor Shower dependently glides through the sky. The 3200 Phaethon asteroid is to blame for the Geminid Meteor Shower. This is distinct from the majority of meteor showers which comets rather than asteroids cause. Midway through the 1800s, the first Geminid meteor shower arrived. December 12th is a new moon this year, which means a dark sky, which is great viewing weather. As many as 150 Geminid meteors per hour can be visible. This year, the dazzling and vividly colorful meteor shower will begin on November the 19th and end on Christmas Eve. This year, it doesn't seem like the moon will interfere with the spectacular spectacle, so watchers won't have any interruptions. People will be able to observe up to 150 meteors per hour with little interference from the moon. And there's one more. Ursid's Meteor Shower, December 21st and 22nd This modest meteor shower, however, is frequently disregarded maybe because its peak occurs close to the start of the Christmas season. Although it produces fewer meteors per hour than the Geminids, on occasion sky watchers may be treated to bursts of 100 or more meteors per hour. What are your thoughts on the space events taking place this year? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.